Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to The Crawler. A game that I know almost nothing about. Don't know what it's about, or how it plays, or anything. I've never heard anyone talk about it, I've never seen any videos on it, and I have zero expectations for it. Because, frankly, the only reason I'm playing it is because I just kind of happened upon it one day, by coincidence, while looking for something else, and decided, surely this must be a sign. But hey, it, lo it looks pretty neat, and this main menu music is fucking sweet. All I know about it is a little blurb on the itch.io page. In the middle of a forest, a group of kids stop by a supermarket to grab some snacks. As they wander through the aisles, strange things start to happen. They soon realize... They are not alone. Well, of course they're not alone. There's, there's a group of them, but never mind. The main character must uncover the secrets of the supermarket and find a way out before it's too late. Sounds good. Let's get right into it then. On the way to camping, that's an odd way of phrasing that, we're really far away from the city, in the middle of nowhere. Hey, that's where I live. We decided to stop here at this mart to get some snacks and supplies. Then... 15. Oh, 15 minutes after midnight, I assume. Or maybe 15 minutes before something terrible happens. I guess that depends on if it's a clock or a countdown timer. Yeah. What a perfect place for us to stop by after a long ride. Let's see what they're up to. I guess it could be a count up timer. It goes from one to explode. <laughs> Hello. That looks like a car key. Maybe it belongs to one of the cars around here. Oh. Let's steal it then. Sure, why not? Also, these graphics are fucking trippy. Like, you ever heard of anti-aliasing? Well, this feels like they not only turned off the anti-aliasing, but turned the aliasing up to 11. Tripping me out, man. If only Emily hadn't driven so slowly, we'd already be at her camp. This is your false Emily. What? Tim, what the fuck are you even saying? First of all, who is e who even is Emily? Am I Emily? Then why were you... Second of all, what, what do you mean by false Emily? Is there a fake? Am I a fake? Are you high? Whatever. Let's see. The newspaper... Ive. What a name. Watch out. Strange. What an odd headline. Alert! Camper's body found in woods. Possible encounter with large creature or bear sad news. A camper's body was found in the woods, and signs suggest a run-in with a big creature or maybe a bear. What do you mean, or? A bear is a big creature. Wildlife officials are on the hunt, but it's still risky out there. Stay safe, folks. Telling me to be careful. You should be careful. <laughs> I feel like that newspaper needs a second pass by an editor. Oh hey! Here's the car! Let's steal it. Yeah. <laughs> or rob its trunk. That works too. Ooh, flashlight. What the fuck are you doing, Tim? You goofy motherfucker. This music is fire. 
Emily, go get me some snacks and cola. I'm waiting. Music is fire. This is elevator music. Maybe I was right. Maybe he is high. I mean, apparently he's got the munchies. All right, then. Fucking weirdo. I guess there's a reason why I'm the one driving. I'll go get you your cola and meal, please. No bread. This place looks kind of nice. This place look kind of nice. Um. Good talk, Chloe. Good talk. Okay. Now where's this? Okay. Just someone just left their pie out here to go bad. Fucking weirdos. Oh, and more food just being left out to go bad. These people. Who fucking did that? What kind of fucking weirdos just leaves their food out in the open to go bad? Ugh, disgusting. Well, okay, maybe they died horribly before they could finish it. In which case, ugh, disgusting. How dare they die horribly? Do they have zero respect for anyone else? Um... And they just left out this turkey or whatever that's posed like a, as if it's a frog. Or, no, maybe a toad. Okay, let's see where this... Ah, here we go. These textures sure are something. With their overlapping, fidgeting nonsense. Yeah. One of those weird things where you, where you overlap two textures and they sort of fidget around. Not sure which one should be on top. Classic. Okay then, and... <laughs> nice. Nice job there, Game Maker. Real great job of seamlessly melding together the interactable objects and the flat textures. Great A stuff. <laughs> uh. Now I'm kind of wondering. Is this like... Because this really does seem like the sort of kind of uh, low fidelity, kind of kind of janky graphics that a genuine novice at making games would make. Pretty good for a novice, even. Uh, but I'm wondering, like, is the person who made this, is this like their first game? And these are just the genuine, you know, jank of something like that? Or... Is this a really fucking good attempt at imitating that style? You know? Well, maybe you don't. But I mean, like, people... There's people out there that will like... They'll create games in the style of... This sort of low graphic fidelity stuff. Sort of like people making retro style games and that sort of thing. And... Oftentimes you can... Usually you can tell that it's an attempt because... It's sort of like trying to sing badly, you know? A lot of people, when they try... It's a lot harder to, tr to imitate that than you would... Th than you might think, if you're... If you're good at it. You're, you can wind up going too far or making mistakes that a genuine novice probably wouldn't. But this... If it is an imitation of that, it's a really fucking good one so far. But enough rambling. That book near, the, near Cashier looks interesting. Maybe I should take a look at it. Look. Where? Oh, 
That one. The one that looks like it's gonna start the apocalypse or some such. Yeah, this is a plan with neither flaw nor any possibility of error. Sure, why don't you go and pick it up and... In fact, you should read it out loud. Just flip to a random page and read out loud the first thing you see. That can't possibly go wrong. Um, wow. That was like record pace for starting the apocalypse. I barely touched it. Um, that damn generator behind the shop is broken again. Oh. Oh, that was a generator shutting down. I thought it was some kind of roar. That's weird. I should go now. Yeah, that's a reasonable <laughs> thing in this situation. But you're gonna have me follow the screams, aren't you? Instead of leaving. Where did they go? To hell. And now you should go. No, of course not. Follow the dead body road. Follow the dead body road. Oh, hey, a dead body. Oh, no, it's Tim. Is he dead? I should tell Chloe about this. No, I think you should leave. Besides, judging by the scream, I think she probably already knows. And is probably running away. Like a smart person. Oh, that's exactly what you want to hear in the middle of night, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and that's exactly what you want to see. Gee, I wonder what could have possibly broken the generator. Oh. <laughs> oh, and that's nice and ominous. Sure, let's go right toward the Help! Help! Mis mysterious demon light. No? Ah, damn it. This random store in the middle of nowhere has invested in invisible wall technology. Fucking Black Mesa. Everything that comes out of that goddamn lab is just designed to make everyone's lives worse. Although in this case, it stopped me from going right up to the mysterious demon light, so maybe it was for the best. That must be her. What? <laughs> Don't know why there was such a dramatic musical sting for a rat, but all right. Well, that was a bit big for a rat. Well, no, rats can grow that big. Hmm, could have been a... Hmm. Could have been one of those larger types of rodents. I must hurry before something bad happened. Before something bad happened to her. Yes, it would be terrible if something bad happened to her, certainly. Just like the bad things that are happen to the grammar. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff just left out to rot. Breather. Ooh. Bedroom key. Is that a gunshot? More like fun shot. Oh no, my friend might be... I just heard a gunshot. My friend could be in danger or even dead. Well, 
Time to gently saunter across the floor. You are not a man in a hurry, are you? Well, you might not be a man, actually. I think you might be Emily or whatever. Where is that little dog go? First of all, that's not grammar. Second of all, I'm more concerned about where he came from. He just fucking phased through a goddamn wall. <laughs> that's a tad concerning. She is not here. What's this? Oh, it's just another newspaper. Or it's a note. Okay, I guess someone could have written a note on a newspaper, but still. Did you seriously not have two models for a piece of paper on a wall? Never mind. Dang it. I never should have taken that book from that guy. Every night I'm plagued by nightmares. It's like that demon-looking dog thing is crawling to me. I shudder to think what had happened if that thing came to life for real. <laughs> Old key, yeah. Yeah, I, it better be. People haven't seri made serious locks for keys like this in, like, a couple hundred years. Ah, chest key. Yeah, because, like... That was all that dates back to when people weren't were didn't really know the first thing about security. They kind of went about it. They kind of went about it in like the completely opposite way around. Uh, but you don't want to hear me rant about security. I could go on that. Uh, I could talk about that for hours. And this game is apparently only like 8 to 14 minutes long. Ah, exit key. Riveting gameplay, I'm sure. Going back and forth from a door to a chest to a door. Oh well. It's not something I adore, to be certain. Let's see. She is not here. Aha! It was you who were behind all of this! Random bozo! This place is dangerous. Go hide in my cabin now! Go! Oh. Or maybe not. Oh, now I can run! Oh! Oh, who the fuck are you? Oh, you're Chloe. Hurry! There's a gun in that room! Oh! Hello, beautiful. Where are you? There you are! You're gonna regret getting stuck on that bush, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Fucking eat lead, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Where are you? Probably stuck on something else. Yep. <laughs> I have had enough of you! Oh yeah! It's over. The nightmare ends here. Damn fucking straight. Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! <laughs> Alright! Well, that was... The Crawler. It certainly was one of the games of all time. What is there to say about The Crawler? Well, there wasn't really much gameplay, and... 
rather scant story. The graphics were... odd. Although not, not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But hey, it had some sweet ass fucking music. Some sweet ass fucking music, even. <laughs> and it had a sequence at the ending where you get to shoot the main antagonist with a hunting rifle until he fucking dies. And really, what more could you want from a horror game? Or any game, really. I think most games would be greatly improved if you could shoot the shit out of the main antagonist with a hunting rifle until he dies. Or she. I'm not picky. <laughs> and, well, it certainly didn't overstay its welcome. Overall, I'd say it definitely exceeded my zero expectations for it. If nothing else, I'm not sorry that I decided to play this on a whim, which is more than I can say for a lot of games. What else is there to say? Nothing but this. I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. My computer is currently crashing right now, but it doesn't matter because I've already finished the video. So fuck you all so much for watching, and sayonara, suckers. <laughs>